You step back, both of you, break ground, but protect yourselves when you do. You bet? Yes, I will. If you have a knockdown, the man down must take eight. The man on his feet will go to the farthest corner remaining. Are there any questions? Okay. Right leg of Kenny North. First, Muhammad up. This is Cassius Clay. changed by both fighters. Ali decided to stay in his ground and, and slug with Norton. Good left hook by Kenny Norton. Right by Ali. Picks off a left. By... Uh, it's the old Ali. Yes, it is. Even more than he has now. In the corner, that's where Norton won him. 15 seconds left in the round as Ali scores. Marine champion in 65, 66, 67. Oh, chopping right hand, it glanced up. Good upper and a good left hook inside. A furious exchange, a left hand on the forehead of Ali. That left hook got a cross, still on his toes, still dancing. He knows Ali can't. The uppercut by Ken Norton. The left hook sweeping by the chin of Ali. Isn't that amazing? George can't stand for a fight to go over two rounds, I guess. Norton got his man where he was. Left hook by Ali. Good. Yes, he hurt and Norton. Is again. He's hurt Norton. Let's see how Norton responds to this pressure now. He took a couple of solid shots. And he's in throwing his own left. A mouse under the left eye of Ken Norton. The best round of the alley. There's the right hand. Made him dance. Ken Norton. Vulnerable to the left hook. Cut by Norton, slashing right hand, left, another uppercut, straightens Ali up. Ali's hurt. Ali took the brunt of three or four of those, helped that one to his ankle bone. By Ever Ali's the jaw arm. was going to break again, that would... A good left hook on the jaw of Norton, another hook on the jaw of... Kenny Norton. The physical strain is showing, I think, on both fighters, they both look tired. Oh! Hunting with the right hand. Can he take a punch? Woo! But detract from the skills of Norton. I don't believe it has, do you? Ali pinned again. What a punch. Condition could tell for the last four. Another good temporarily. Oh, I think almost an open glove by Norton. Hoping to get back some of the sap in those legs that carried him around. Ali, Ali, another Ali. Right hand by Ali. It's back again, Norton. Norton, 40 seconds left. The crowd is going absolutely berserk as these fine heavyweights. 20 seconds left in round nine. Folks, Ali having a scoring round. But Perillo left, or will it be left? and ran into a right hand hook. Looks like they both think. Two minutes to go in the round. Kenny won't let him rest. Been zipped before. They're slow getting there, but that right hand uppercut hurt. Now, 10 seconds. Kenny got off balance, lunging at that combination. Ali did not land any yet. 
none of those punches land. A man's entire fistic future maybe toes again. He's on his toes. Norton, I believe. Norton. Norton. Joe Frazier says that's the place. Um, Very tough fight to judge, very tough. One minute to go. Ali caught a left hand. And yes. Another left. Oh. Ali scoring. 20 seconds left in the fight. Here comes Norton. It's going the distance. And there is the bell. Kenny Norton. And Muhammad Ali. Trilling a Los Angeles crowd. He sees it. Seven to five to the winner. Split. fight tonight, which I don't think he will, if he win the fight, uh, he and I will defend, our, uh, he'll have to defend his champion again in the Congo. Well, that's certainly your territory, Ali, but right now, talking about this fight, look at the concentration and the stare job that Foreman is putting on. Both fighters exactly the same size. Foreman slightly heavier, about seven or eight pounds heavier. Foreman showing the concentration. And starting rather slow, feeling Norton out. Won't call it a classic foot behind him. Vicious left hook goes over the head of Pretty good straight left hand thrown by Foreman, taken on the face and a right hand to the kidney. That's a punch you've got to watch out. There's a good left hand, the best and again to the kidney. Norton takes a light left, throws a right of his own. One minute remaining in round. Light left hand taken. Wild right hand, another left hand taken on the gloves by Norton. Norton. Light left on the forehead. Very important type of movement. Norton hanging on. Norton tries to jab. Foreman holds those hands up. Kenny Norton has got plenty of biases degree in boxing in any man's school. Free Jimmy Rondo, the 15, the heavyweight championship of the world. Oh, a good, good right hand on the left-hand side of the face of Norton. Norton is a bit stunned as Foreman is teeing off. And it looks like Norton has really been staggered as he went eight. And here we go as Foreman comes banging on in the second round. Norton goes down again. A left hand on the side of the head. His legs are rubbery as a left hand goes to the side of his head. A right uppercut, a left jab, and a vicious left. Sends Norton crumbling to the canvas for the second time. Are they going to continue it or are they going to stop it? It looks like it may be all over, and it is all over. George Foreman retains the heavyweight Both guys are ready to get it on. Right here at Yankee Stadium in New York City. The 16th time. Ali is. Oh, we're getting ready. Look at this. Ali is going into that windup. Here we are, round one. Heavyweight champion. Ali. Norton sort of blocked though. But hit him behind the head. Good right hand. And too much effective punching. That was it. Now look at Ali. Instead of resting, he is leading the crowd again in a chin. Like a choir master. And that's that's Muhammad Ali style. Walking around. King this fight. Round two. New York City. Yankees State Department. He can take a punch, though. That's one thing. Muhammad Ali. Harden's trying to work on the midsection. Ali is blocking those shots. He's talking back to him now for the first yes. time. And he said, Ali's going to the left and right combination of the head. We even come back. Ali comes back with the right. Backing off. He's retreating. Ali, Ken North. Right okay. back, come over with the right. Area punches. The right comes in there with Muhammad Ali. Now 
I'm not least saying that ain't here. Other than that. That right hand land that time. Kennedy comes back again. Not to Ali is clowning around now. Comes over top with the right. Muhammad Ali. Ali is just standing there. There's a good left. Got through the comes right. through that with a left. Well, our left has got in the Ali. With that right hand. I just uh, wanted to penalize him for behaving that way. Here we are, okay, round thank you, six. Back at ringside, Yankee Stadium, new fight. Muhammad Ali, the champion. He's talking and he's... Look at Ali. Looks around. With a hard right to the head by Norton. Good shot to the body, double... Coming in with a foot. Ali. In his lap. Good right here. Cut missed, I believe. Just a bit short. Now they exchange it, though. Now they come to the left right combination. say going back to the thriller in Manila, Joe, Joe Frazier and Muhammad Ali, this is probably the best legitimate heavyweight championship fight. Of course, we uh, wouldn't take anything away from the Sphinx Ali fight, but look at the determination in the eyes. Norton looking down, not looking into the face of Holmes. Holmes trying to taunt him. We're all set. Larry Holmes, lightning left hands. He can count a punch while moving. The guys do not like each other. Larry Holmes, are, but right now he's going to have his hands full with... Norton is pretty good... Larry Holmes' record is unblemished. It's thrown by Larry. Larry scores a right. Good right. Two. Notice how he stays up. Larry Holmes fighter. Kenny Norton is as well. But the hand speed. And there's the uppercut. Holmes so far he hasn't touched him. Holmes. First. Two times. Another good shot. When Norton trickling to the left. Causing the problem score. Holmes. Norton's a great competitor. He's relentless. Lightning right hand. You see when Kenny comes in with the left hand. 
the alertness and the quickness of Holmes, good cut, but showing a little respect and regard for him in the ring. So far, and it's all been to the end. Oh, Kenny Norton, when you score punches like that and it doesn't take anything out, then the left comes back. Two, three, four, quick left hands and a right follow. Didn't take a shot, was in Caracas in 74 when Foreman knocked him out. But he's taken plenty of punishment from Ali. Good shots now, that jab. Oh, great, great boxing in here now by both of them. Kenny has good hand speed for heavyweight, but Larry is so exceptional. Oh, stay away from him, slack. He hasn't used his legs just as begun using it now. From Ken North. An out type of fighter. That left jab is really a punch. It's no jab. There it is again and again. Light blows to scoring. Holmes is very well aware that the uppercut is a key punch for him. Good shot being smart to Larry Holmes. I'm surprised he's not moving more. Just move more. And the instructions of Kenny Norton would be to try and cut him off in the corner. Would like to see him use him more. Now there's some good movement there. A lot of people came out from Eastern Pennsylvania to see come in and out. Angelo Dundee, the great trainer, says he'd like to see a guy that has that leg speed come in and out. This is what Larry should be doing. Norton comes in and scores with the head. His hands are very busy. Takes a lot of leather. Now let's see if the pace changes or anything. Good right hand, good combination scored. Holmes has come on here. To me, he can taste it. He's going after him so hard. Larry Holmes says, take that if you want to taste some of that. All right. Round nine. This is scheduled for 15. Back in his eye of the determination, like he's looking for a shot of Holmes there, the way he walked away from that. Jimmy Ellis was famous for that back to his right now. Oh, he's got to score a few more punches to keep. There's a good shot by Holmes. Scores downstairs because the fight is at a point where it goes a point where offensive minded now. Here, round 10. Championship of the world at stake. People now are suddenly yelling for Norton. Harry, they're yelling that. Like the Ali Chan, it's the Larry Larry that you hear. And of course, Holmes is a big crowd out from Eastern Pennsylvania. That he's the underdog, and people like the dog. Norton is scoring the punches. Larry is shouldn't allow himself to get on the ropes. Norton's too strong for this sort of thing. Holmes has got to become more aggressive. That's what's at stake. And Norton scores again. Larry's style, by this time Larry should be trying to plug him a bit. Norton's punches look There's a right hand, scored pretty good that time, and again! Scored before, and Norton is looking strong. His left hook has looked better than a bit by both fighters. There's a good shot. He's trying a little bit more even than the rest, but the aggressiveness of Norton scoring again. All right, real good shot by Holmes that time, spins ahead of Norton. Now Larry's taking the fight back to him. Good round, shaping up for Larry Holmes, good right hand. Use his legs a little bit more. The knees of Norton look a little bit jellied like now. Another good shot there, his right hands are taking the toll of Norton. He's got him staggered, I believe, he's got him scoring good combination. The right hand is taking its toll on Norton. Larry hits him again, again. Big round for Larry up Norton in this round. Larry taking the vision away with the left hand and then dropping the right hand. Holmes continues to score at the right. He's got Norton wobbly again, taking another shot. He scored at least 10 good right hands. Very close. Again, that's Holmes, which is frustrating. He wobbly now. The bounce left in his knee. And nothing to any of they with him to catch your breath. This is what he should continue to do. He scores with an up, but he knows how important it is to be aggressive. He scores a good shot to the head of Larry Holmes. Larry Holmes taking some shots here now. Good round for Kenny Norton. This is when you're fucking alive. Good shot, Spike. Norton's 
waiting for about halfway through the round, and then he's going to explode. Let go out the early going, and that's what head back to Larry Holmes. Larry misses. At least halfway through now, round 15. Too close for me to score. Unless Holmes explodes. Kenny Norton taking it to Larry. Larry is fighting back really now. This is what he has to do. See if he's got enough left to take the champ out. Scores with the right hand. The champ comes back. Comes back and scores a real good shot to the head of Holmes. Another good shot. Takes the ball piece out of the mouth for Larry Holmes. Kenny Norton doing what he has to do to win. Kenny Norton, I'm afraid, in the waning moments now of the round, Larry is fighting desperately to stay in there. Score is good with a shot to the head of Kenny Norton, again to the head of Norton. This has been a great boxing show. Both fighters courageous as Holmes comes back. Scores a good shot. He's got Norton in trouble. Yes. Uppercut scores. Running out of time, and that's it. It's all over. Well, Holmes put on a last second flurry. It's going to be very, very. For the new. Glory Holmes has done it. There's the tail of the tape. Norton listed at 33, Shavers at 34, Norton the taller man. We've talked about his weight in our interview with him. Many of you are familiar with Kenny's style. Immediately, Kenny's back against the ropes and Shavers tries to take off on him. The Shavers right has accounted for most of his 55 knockouts. Norton covers well. See Kenny, that's his strategy. Crowd yelled at a ship. Told you this would be a slugfest. Chavis has Norton hurt. Very much hurt. Chavis throwing all the leather, and he did get a left in there. Oh, Norton's in trouble. Norton showing no movement at all. Whatever his strategy, he's paying a price for it. And this, the very best Norton down. Knockdown. Scored in the... There goes Norton again. This time, I don't know if he can get up. It's stopped. Bill Blaine has stopped the fight. A stunning first-round knockout of Kenny Norton. Ernie shape Kenny Norton. Heaven knows. Knockdown. Came in. What tremendous action. In that first round, Shavers, who said he's a new man with a career extended 10 years by the cover up. Norton found he couldn't cover up. He had been stung by a left, tried to get away from the ropes. Then that right came in, and Norton was beginning to go. The uppercut landed. Then a left off the top of the head, a right into the midriff. Another stinging left, and it had to happen. After all of that, you see him there wobbling. The legs were going, and that right uppercut started it, followed by a left. All right, we'll be back talking with Ernie Shavers in just a minute. The winner. Right. For the Three first knockdowns in one round will end the fight. Now, 40 seconds. The bell will not save anybody from being knocked out, all right? If a fight is on the floor, please don't come in. That calls for disqualification. I hate to do that. So stay away. Wait till the fighter gets up, then you can help him, all right? Any questions? Shake hands. Good luck to both of you. A series of jabs as you look at the tail of the tape. Norton, 11 years, the senior of Jerry Cooney. Six, Ten six, rounds, three knockdown rule is in effect. The bell cannot save either man. A right hand buckle the knees of Norton. Norton's knees. Left hand to the stomach. And another right hand of Norton who stands on the ropes. Left hand of the heart by Cooney. Norton bangs away now at Cooney in Norton's corner. And another left hand scores it again. The legs of Norton wobble. Norton is hurt in his own corner. Cooney tried to measure him. Misses two uppercuts, but scores with combinations of left stance. Norton straight up. Norton is about to drop. Norton is on his knees and finally slumps in the corner. He is not going to get up from there. As to the punching power of Jerry Cooney. Ray Leonard, I think that his knees never did touch. And so Cooney, of course, doing the right thing by just continuing to punch. But I think you make a very good point in that Tony Perez may have considered stepping in a little bit sooner than he did.